Hi all, Salvatore here. On International Human Rights Day, I made the extravagant sounding claim that people in the world would be lucky to live in India from a human rights standpoint. In fact, that's pretty easy to show. Take the world population as 1.8 billion, take off you know, 1.3, 1.4 billion of that, and you're down to 6.7 billion. And if you cut that in half and you ask, do half the people in the world live at a worse human rights level than India, you're looking for something like 3.3 billion people in the world who have worse human rights in India. And I can quickly show you 3.3 billion people in the world who have worse human rights than India. I mean, start in China. We've got 1.4 billion right there. Let's add in Indonesia. We're now up to 1.7 billion. If you, you know, include the Philippines, you know, 1.8, something like that. Throw in Pakistan and Afghanistan. We're up to 2.1 billion. Uh, Russia and much of, the, much of the former Soviet Union, now up to 2.9 billion. Clearly Iran, you know, so up to 3 billion. Most of the the Arab uh, Middle East, we're already over 3 billion, and then almost all of Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, or for that matter, North Africa as well, so almost all of Africa has worse uh, human rights than in India. So you're now, at this point, over 4 billion people in the world who clearly have worse human rights situations than people in India. When you start getting to Latin America, it may get questionable. India may be at similar levels, but you know we, we can very clearly and easily show that more than half the world's population lives in countries that have clearly worse human rights situations than in India. In other words, people in the world are lucky if they live in India from a human rights standpoint. Now consider that India has a GDP per capita of just over $2,000 per year. Among poor people in the world, among people who are living at GDP levels under $10,000 per year, they're incredibly lucky to be living in India. India has done a great job. I'm not saying that there aren't abuses and problems in India. Of course, there are problems everywhere. But the scale of problems in India is clearly demonstrably, quantitatively much lower than in the rest of the world as a whole, and certainly much, much lower than in the developing world as a whole.